what's up everybody cursing mushroom here and welcome back to another destiny 2 video so today we're going to be talking about the linear fusion rifles and what actually has changed since the patch 1.1.4 on march 27th okay guardians so let's talk about the before so that way we can get a baseline on what the dead ender by dead orbit linear fusion rifle is doing so first off you're doing a non-critical of 513 and a critical of 769, and that correlates to a 49.90% increase for your critical multiplier. Let's just go ahead and round that to 50% to make it more simple to understand. Now, the flinch on this is really bad, and the aim assist is not so great, but realistically, it is an ogre, so it's a lot easier to hit his crit. Now, if it's like a knight or a you know, smaller target of any kind, it would be much harder and even PVP to hit your target. So what we're going to do is move on to the after and test what really actually is going on since the patch. All right, now the time is here to see what it does now, which is absolutely fantastic to be fair. I had to slow down. I almost killed this guy too quick. So what you're getting is a non-crit of 754 and a critical of 1131. That's a crit multiplier of 50% just like before, but you are increasing your damage by 47.07%. Now Bungie says it's 50%, but I did the math and we're looking at critical only before you were doing 10 766 now you're doing 15 834 you can do the math yourself if you want it is 47.07 percent so it's a little bit less than they say but to be fair it is substantial in terms of damage output now would i compare this let's say to a rocket launcher for the raid um it is viable but i will tell you this much the rocket launcher is going to be the best to be fair but these are completely viable don't think they're not i was using a linear fusion on the raid the other day and it was fantastic now i also wanted to talk about the flinch and the aim assist now bungie didn't put any stats or i couldn't figure up any on my own other than just playing with it and using it i will say that flinch is moderately changed in terms of like against that ogre because i mean honestly it's an ogre he's going to flinch the crap out of you anyways but in terms of pvp i noticed a big difference I will say as well that the aim assist is much better. I don't know the exact percentages. Like I said, they didn't put that on their page. And honestly, I could only really determine by just playing and letting you guys know that, hey, look, I think it is better. I would highly recommend using linear fusion rifles now. I think it is a very, very positive and fun thing to use. I love just beaming people in Crucible and they're like, really? A linear fusion, dude? And it's just amazing. It's so fun. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to put the slide up with all the information in case you missed something. And as usual, I hope you have a great afternoon, morning, day, or night. Cursing Mushroom out. Thanks guys for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel about linear fusion rifles and are you still excited about the recent patch?